O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 92, verses 1 through 4 and 11 through 14. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to tell of your loving kindness early in the morning and of your faithfulness in the night season, on the psaltery and on the lyre, and to the melody of the harp. For you have made me glad by your acts, O Lord, and I shout for joy because of the works of your hands. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and spread and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be green and succulent, that they may show how upright the Lord is, my rock, in whom there is no fault. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 15 through 17. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt, felt hurt because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. The word of the Lord. Today, the church commemorates William White, Bishop of Pennsylvania. William White was born in Philadelphia, March 24, 1747, and was educated at the college of that city, graduating in 1765. In 1770, he went to England, was ordained a deacon on December 23rd, and priest on April 25th, 1772. On his return home, he became Assistant Minister of Christ at St. Peter's, 1772 through 1779, and rector from that year until his death, July 17, 1836. He also served as chaplain of the Continental Congress from 1777 to 1789, and then of the United States Senate until 1800. Chosen unanimously as first bishop of Pennsylvania, September 14, 1786, he went to England again with Samuel Provost, bishop-elect of New York, and the two men were consecrated in Lambeth Chapel on Septuagesima, Sunday, February 4, 1787, by the archbishops of Canterbury and York and the bishops of Bath and Wells and of Peterborough. Bishop White was the chief architect of the Constitution of the American Episcopal Church and the wise overseer of its life during the first generation of its history. He was the presiding bishop as at its organizing general convention in 1789 and again from 1795 until his death in Philadelphia on July 17, 1836. He was a theologian of no mean ability and among his protégés, in whose formation he had a large hand, were such leaders of a new generation as John Henry Hobart, Jackson Kemper, and William Augustus Muhlenberg. White's gifts of statesmanship and reconciling moderation steered the American church through the first decades of its independent life. His influence in his native city made him its first citizen. To few men has the epithet venerable been more aptly applied. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, 
and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O Lord, in a time of turmoil and confusion, you raised up your servant William White and endowed him with wisdom, patience, and a reconciling temper, that he might lead your church into ways of stability and peace. Hear our prayer and give us wise and faithful leaders, that through their ministry your people may be blessed and your will be done. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered along on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This is another day, O Lord. We know not what it will bring forth, but make us ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If we are to stand up, help us to stand bravely. If we are to sit still, help us to sit quietly. If we are to lie low, help us to do it patiently. And if we are to do nothing, let us do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give us the spirit of Jesus. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.